Good morning, folks. Day one out here on the river, enjoying a nice cup of free range. We, uh, we actually bought this little kit to make coffee. If you guys want to know how we did it, you're going to have to stay tuned to the next episode. Um, we didn't film anything. I basically just woke up early and just went on and did it before John was awake. But before we get started, this guy right here, Free Range. If you guys don't know what Free Range is, really awesome coffee company. And they came out with a duck blind roast for that, for you duck hunters or just fishermen or anybody who wants to wake up early in the morning and have some energy. I'm telling you, this stuff will, uh, stuff will give you some energy, get you ready, ready for the day, whether you're duck hunting, deer hunting bass fishing don't matter but i just want to let you guys know that that is out and if you guys want any link is down in the description if you like coffee that's that's my favorite out of all of them wakes you up tastes great i'm ready to get my day started i think it's gonna it's gonna fuel fuel this day i've got a good feeling i think we're catching big fish but if you guys didn't know what i'm doing today i'm out here with bubba he is the alligator gar guy and uh, he catches absolute dinosaurs uh long story short he's got some world records caught some 250 pounders and uh, I'll leave all the stuff, Instagram, website, Facebook, YouTube, everything down below. If you guys want to come do exactly what I'm doing today, if you guys want at home want to come do it, you click the links down in the description. You go, uh, you can go check it out. But I'm pretty excited. John's pretty excited. Hopefully he catches a fish today. Hopefully I catch fish today. Last night was a little, little tough. Missed some fish. Only, only had a few bites. I think I hooked one, but didn't land anything. So hopefully today changes that. I'm pretty excited. I've never caught an alligator guard before. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> Cheese deer sausage. Really? Ooh, that's gonna be delicious. Oh wow. That's really good. Nothing like some jalapeno cheddar deer sausage in the morning. After you set up camp on the river looking for some river monsters, some dinosaurs. We got all three rods out. What do we put on for bait? We make, do we mix it up today? Just all carp? This is all carp right all, now. That's the best though you said. That's the best. So we're only the best today. Yeah. I like it. So we got the carp rigged up, four car, or three carp pads on three different rods. Supposedly that is the best according to Baba. And uh, hopefully we're gonna catch some big fish today. Starting to see a couple bites here and there, but nothing, nothing too crazy. But we got a good feeling. I think we're gonna catch a big one. Fish again. Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh man, I didn't mean to do that to you, Flair. That's a decent fish. I didn't mean to do you that, that to you. Pass it around to him. That's a decent fish. No, that's Here. all you. That's no, all you can have it. You want no, it? No, 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 no. It's all you. Oh, he just bit it out. Right now, we're just getting outsmarted by these guys. We're being a little difficult today. That's a bigger fish than I thought. That was we're sitting there the whole time that like that's a little fish. fish. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little fish. He's sitting there jerking. That's a little fish. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to pick it up. And just really in, kind of get it out of his mouth, and then you just seen that. <laughs> he decided he's gonna go all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, uh, this gar fishing stuff is insane. We thought we that was right at the boat, like two feet away. We thought it was just a little guy nibbling, and ended up being a pretty big one. And unfortunately, it popped off. Dinner. Yeah, let's reel them in, flare, and move, and find us another hole. We done stirred this one up. got one running down river now and we got one running up river. I think this one here is ready to catch. Yeah, just, yeah, just, like a small just, one just swing on him? Yeah, just go ahead and set the hook on him. Reel up tight and yank it. Yup, 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 got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that small? Yeah, that's a baby. What, that's a baby? Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Yep, we got one. Apparently this is a baby. I don't know. I guess I don't really know what I'm what I'm looking for here, but to me this is actually a pretty good fish. Look at that. It went right at the boat. These things are so crazy looking. Straight up dinosaurs. Swing up this. in the face. There you go. <laughs> Basically you gotta pin the fish down so it doesn't kill me. But this is the first fish so far. They said it's about 15, 20 pounder. We're looking for about 10 times this size. But right now we're dealing with some tough conditions. Uh, look at the sun's starting to come out, but it's been cloudy this morning and a huge cold front, which makes it tough. And kind of like bass fishing in general. Fishing just gets a little bit tougher when the cold front rolls through. So it's been kind of tough. Fish have been very finicky. We've had a ton of bites, but not a lot of execution, not a lot of them swallowing it. 
except for this guy did. This guy definitely, he definitely choked it, and uh, first fish landed of the trip. I'll take it. They say it's a small one, but hey, I'll take it. Right now we have two fish on, well, biting, I should say. We're gonna take the boat out and chase both of them down to see if we can land both of these guys. One of them is like a mile that way, so we think that one's big. Oh yeah. He's going straight upstream right now, it looks like. You focus on that bobber right there, I think he's picking the surface. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. Hit him. Hit him? Hit him. Go fast. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 fast. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Wow. He's doing jumping time. Come on, bud. He's not liking that at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These things fight so hard. Oh my gosh. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> Dude, that's huge. That's freaking huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> we got another one for you, Oh, we got another one hooked on? Oh, come on, fish! <laughs> Dude, these things are not messing around. These suckers aren't messing around. <laughs> We got a mess going on right now. We got another rod that's got a fish on it. There's a stick. Go around the front of the boat now. There's a stick that caught the other line. I'm still trying to get this guy in. Ooh, cook a bird. Lasso is Texas style. Oh, we got him, boys! We got him. We got him like a freaking gator. Good job, dude. Yes, sir. Now catch that right there. Oh, all, right. all right, what's the deal on this one? You're hung up? No, we're not. Right? I got him over. Set the hook on him. There you go. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm watch ready. Where you, watch where you got him right there. Get back up here in the front. Go slow. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Keep pressure on him, though. Okay. Keep pressure on him. All right. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Look at that sucker! Oh my god! She's in right! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Alright, get up here in the front. Oh god, this real nervous. Uh, no, 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 no. Get up in the very front. Roll the very top up there. Yeah. You got him up Reel down and pull back. There you go. Reel down. Hey god, buddy! <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. There you go. It's not quite ready to come in. Come on. He like barely gripped the rod right now. Pull him on up. Pull him on up. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, there's not, Ooh, a, look at the there's not a whole lot of pulling here. He's pulling oh, me. Oh, he turning the boat He's down. turning the entire boat right now. I'm ready to see this sucker. Go out, go out, go out, go out. Down, 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 down. Hurry up, Billy. Back's about to give out here. This hurts. <laughs> this hurts. They got him. Good God. Dude, he is not giving up. <laughs> he is not giving up. Pull up easy. There you go. Easy. How's that belly button feel? No, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, monster right there. <laughs> there is a monster. Just That's jump. over seven foot. Oh my gosh. You guys are joking right now. No, that, oh old, my goodness. That's a big one. Look at that thing. Okay. Okay. Hang on, Billy. Got him. Woo! Right up on the edge of that grass. About 83 inches. 83 but 35. She's gonna be around 130, 140. You've got to be kidding me right now. That thing is a monster. Like, you couldn't pay me a million dollars to swim in this river knowing that sucker's in here. Well, folks, we just got both fish landed. This one is the biggest one of the day. And we're thinking about 150? 150. 150 pounds for this big guy. 
And uh, this one is actually tagged, which means that they, they usually net them, they tag them, and then they track their progress of growth and you know conduct research on them basically to you know make sure that they don't go extinct and just kind of fish management and stuff like that. And you can tell we're kind of leaving them in the water as much as we can, make sure they don't dry out and get a nice healthy release on them. So we're gonna say goodbye to these guys and send them on their way. <laughs> How'd that just work out for you? What are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to dry my stuff off. Hope it isn't like a poisonous tree or anything. Oh, we made it back to the camp finally. Completely soaking wet, covered in gar slime. But our tent is still standing. It's good. It's still good to go. Look at this. This is where we slept last night. Under the stars-ish. Where, you know, you can see the stars, but kept the bugs away. But now we are going to, or right now Bubba's refueling the boat. We're going to kind of get changed, kind of re get resituated. And then uh, hopefully we're going to move some spots and try to catch some nighttime gar. Big alligator gar like you saw today, but at night, which seems a lot more scary. Scarier, a lot more scary. You guys know what I'm saying. Because, you know, like these suckers, if you you didn't hear us talk about it at all, I'm not sure if we even talked about it, but like their teeth stick out to the side a lot. So like if they just hit you with the side of their face, like it'll just, it's literally just like someone stabbing you. It's not even like they have to bite down on you to actually hurt you. Literally at one slash, We'll get we'll get you uh, impaled. But like I said in the beginning, you gotta go follow this guy, right? Where they, where can they find you? Where can they find me? Where can they find you? Oh. They want to come do this. What do they gotta do? BubbaBandry.com. I'll put the link down in the description below. You guys wanna go check them out? Got Instagram. You got YouTube. You got a website. And uh, the folks at home watching can do this, right? That's right. What I did today, they can be like me and get in the water and cuddle. 150 pound alligator gar. That's right. If they want to do that, if you guys want to do that, you they, can. They can come hang out with me for a day or two. Yeah, come come hang out and catch some giant gar and dinosaurs. Dinosaur, dinosaur fish. So if you guys want to go dinosaur fishing, click the link in the description down below. Go check it out. We're gonna get everything kind of packed up, situated, dried out, and then kind of get some energy back and hopefully go slay some evening, nighttime alligator gar. If you guys enjoyed the alligator gar fishing, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll come back. Well, you guys hopefully will see some more videos this week, but. You know, if you, if you enjoyed the trip in the series, I'll do it again, hopefully next year or, or later on this year or whatnot. So you guys got to let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.